Good evening and welcome to our Wednesday evening prayer service on this July 17th. If I say surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, darkness is not to, dark to you, O Lord. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone we have not loved you with our whole heart we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves we are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your son jesus christ have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name amen Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us, O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it is in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. A reading from Psalm 85. I will listen to what God, the Lord, says. He promises peace to his people, his faithful servants. But let them not turn to folly. Surely his salvation is near those who fear him, and his glory may dwell in our land. Love and faithfulness meet together. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. Faithfulness springs from forth from the earth, and righteousness looks down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give what is good, and our land will yield its harvest. Righteousness goes before him and prepares the way for his steps. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Second Samuel. As the ark of the Lord was entering the city of David, Michael, daughter of Saul, watched from a window, and when she saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord, she despised him in his heart, in her heart. They brought the ark of the Lord and set it in its place inside the tent that David had pitched for it, and David sacrificed burnt offerings and fellowship offerings before the Lord. After he had finished sacrificing the burnt offerings and fellowship offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord Almighty. Then he gave a loaf of bread, a cake of dates, and a cake of raisins to each person in the world and to the whole crowd of the Israelites, both men and women. And all the people went to their homes. When David returned home to bless his household, Michael, daughter of Saul, came out to meet him and said, How the king of Israel was distinguished himself today going around half naked in full view of the slave girls, of his servants, as any vulgar fellow would. David said to Michael, It was before the Lord who chose me rather than your father or anyone from his house when he appointed me ruler over the Lord's people Israel. I will celebrate before the Lord. I will become even more undignified than this, and I will be humiliated in my own eyes. But by these slave girls you spoke of, I will be held in honor. And Michael, daughter of Saul, had no children to the day of her death. The word of the Lord. The song of Simeon. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, 
and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading of the Gospel according to Luke. Jesus went on to say, To what then can I compare the people of this generation? What are they like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling out to each other. We played the pipe for you when you did not dance. We sang a dirge and you did not cry. For John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and you say, he has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and you say he's a glutton and drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is proved right by all her children. The Word of the Lord. Just as the people of Jesus' time were quick to judge both John the Baptist and Jesus based on their own expectations and biases, we're often prone to judge others without understanding or compassion. Today, we might judge people based on appearances, background, or behavior without truly understanding their hearts or their purposes. The people of Jesus' time rejected both John the Baptist and Jesus despite their different approaches. John's self-denial and Jesus' openness to all. Today, people may reject the message of the gospel or the teachings of Jesus without fully considering its implications or truth. Despite the rejection and misunderstanding Jesus faced, he proclaimed that, Wisdom is vindicated by all her children. And this suggests over time that the truth and wisdom of God's ways become evident through their outcomes and efforts. Today, despite misunderstandings and rejections, the wisdom of following Jesus and living according to God's will can still be seen in transformed lives and communities. Now, the passage highlights how people's preferences and cultural expectations influence their judgments. Today, there's a danger where people reject truths in favor of their own preferences or society's norms, and this can lead to spiritual blindness and a lack of discernment. This passage challenges us to discern an openness to God's ways rather than being swayed by public opinion or our own preconceived notions. It's a call to examine our hearts and minds to ensure that we aren't rejecting God's truth because it doesn't fit with our expectations or desires. And Luke reminds us to be humble, discerning, open to God's truth, and resist, resisting the urge to judge others superficially or reject divine wisdom based on cultural or personal biases. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again, ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrage be, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord, 
that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of St. Matthias and all your saints, entrusting one another in all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. The Colic for today. O Lord, mercifully receive the prayers of your people who call upon you and grant that they may know and understand what things they ought to do and also may have grace and power faithfully to accomplish them through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A colic for, for peace. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. A colic for aid against perils. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy. Defend us from all perils and dangers of this night for the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous, and for all your love's sake, amen. This evening we ask for strength and healing, but especially for Joanne, Rob, Roberta, O.T., Allison, Cherie, Doc, Juan, Debbie, Hector, Angelique, Robert, Stacy, Manda, Leslie, Bob, and Sally. And let's take a moment so you can add your own prayers and intercessions. A prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>